Here we have a Dr. Tepej who got a PMP certified from the UK. Okay. I remember the day when you reached out to me, some channel to LinkedIn or WhatsApp. Hey, is it my yeah. for PMP? Is it possible? Yeah. Are you sure. This is how the conversation started. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think my journey started in July last week because uh -huh. I was thinking doing a, a PMP certification, which is much needed in our industry because I'm from life science industry. Uh -huh. So I has an appre apprehension. Am uh -huh. I able to uh, do this one? Am I able to grasp this knowledge? Uh, uh -huh. Sort of fear was there. Then I somehow I uh, got your profile in LinkedIn. I started sharing <laughs> messages and then right. said, Right, yeah. right. There it goes to the profile, a doctor. Look at this. Uh, I think uh, the list is so bigger. <laughs> a PhD holder and he has a list yeah. of stuff and PMP is a proud to be in your list, I believe. Huh? Is it so? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I give more weightage to PMP because uh, whatever I did, uh, doctor of veterinary medicine, MVSC, they are curriculum based courses. See? Uh, you won't have that uh, sort of thrill when you write exam. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Yeah. Do, do you think so? Because uh, you have crossed through different uh, courses and certificates and uh, PhD. Um, mm. uh, was it uh, really you felt the essence in this exam? Yeah, so yes, yes, sense. This is really actually you have to play with your mind, the logical thinking. Mm, uh, mm, so yeah. if you if you, if you if you understood concept, if you understood subject very well, then only you are able to succeed. No, it, just it, mark, mark it up and just uh, come on. You can't you can't do that one. It's it's not a game of inky pinky pinky. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> And to be frank, uh, it's like one of the challenging exam I wrote. That's interesting. Impressive to know from a doctor there. Uh, Tipesh, first thing I want to uh, thank you for the trust uh, because that was a July is a time we are quite busy. A lot yeah. of training is happening back to back. By the time I yeah. think you came on the chat, then I have to tell you, yeah. go ahead with the training. You yeah. will get it and you will clear it. And uh, yeah. you trusted us. So thanks for that. And again, the congratulations from the Sri team for your success, right? So you can talk about your journey, how it happened, and uh, what, what is the domain of what you work and uh, why you got this idea of PMP? Uh, first of all, I will uh, thank you for uh, motivating and uh, inspiring me and also for Rahul for 24 bar 7 support. Whenever I have doubt, just within 10 minutes, even my time and India time is different. Uh, I don't know whether he sleeps or not. Thing straight away, I will get answer. So thank you for wonderful uh, assistance. Otherwise, I could have not failed this certification. Mm -hmm. uh, my desire was because I'm now at the senior senior level position, mm -hmm. and I'm uh, start. I moved out of academia. I started working in industry, mm -hmm. uh, and UK is startup to medium scale industry is booming. And uh, so this is uh, actually a sense I needed a management certification, uh, project management experience. So that's that's made me like motivation to go for it, mm. and then I was looking for a suitable person to guide and motivate because uh, it's it's proper motivation, proper guidance. And then I I luckily I'm lucky enough to find you in LinkedIn, and then uh, I just started uh, acquiring questions, and you said just join, and then uh, luckily in the uh, August week you started online training uh, sessions, so I straight away jumped in. Uh, when I started my journey in August, I came without anything, like zero knowledge. It means I had done some project uh, management, which is very pretty basic to intermediate, which, which is all, not at all uh, like high standards. So then I started without reading anything because just straight away attended your sessions. There are people like me, and there are people who already read, they're answering very fast. I didn't. Uh, Bother those things I knew I had to attend and first, two, first session was good second session I started out okay, a little bit uh, feeling like I'm uh, is it is it not matching to my uh, wavelength mm. uh, and then I asked specific questions so how should I start and then he said uh, everyone have their uh, frequency of reading and understanding whichever book you choose and then just stick to one so and then I started with uh, I started with uh, PMBOK, uh, communication management. I was flying away. Okay, no. And then I, I took Rita. Rita Mulche connected well. 
at mm -hmm. first also I read, at first it's too basic, like more of pictures. I'm not uh, more used to picture type of reading. So okay. Rita Mulcha, I, I got it. And then I read two or three chapters from Rita Mulcha and then I, okay, it's too much they are giving. It's not very like, uh, not flow, it's not connecting flow, like which tools, which inputs, outputs. So it's like mix up everything. Right. Uh, so then I, I came back to PEMBAC and then PEMBAC started connecting me well. Ah, so Rita ah, with... <laughs> ah, fall in love. <laughs> yeah. After reading two chapters in Rita Mulche, I got a sense of uh, how to read, uh, how to get a grasp of subject. So okay. two chapters, close it, and PEMBAC, I read PEMBAC because PEMBAC was very well framed in, in terms of process flow. So I started reading that one and then... Uh, I, because of August, I just attended their classes uh, because of work assignments. I had to go somewhere outside the uh, station. So right. September, I didn't do it. Actual star study, I started in October. Uh -huh. So I, October, every day, I used to read two hours and 30 minutes writing. 49 process sheet wow. every day. I started writing uh, and even now I see everything in front of my... So, so, so how was your family reaction when you started writing? Uh, do you have a writing habit regularly, something like that? Uh, I, I, I usually, because when I used to conduct team meetings in my... Ah, you have I used to, yeah, I used to write in diaries. So what to write or what to meeting points. So uh, that I used to be in office, in a home, um, my son, uh, my son is three year old. My wife, they are not, not exposed to you know, what I'm doing. My son is just frequently asking, why are you are going inside a room and sitting in your room? You're not playing with me. <laughs> uh, so, and then I used to tell, yeah, I used to tell, uh, Sar is coming. And he's asking me to read and write. So I'm doing homework. You do homework in your uh, nursery. So I'm doing homework here. <laughs> so he used to go away. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't disturb me too much. Inspiration is there. there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. So with, with the two day, two hours of reading every day. When you yeah. came close to the exam, last for one week. Um, yeah. What was your level? So yeah, I actually October. I just uh, uh, October to no, it took me like an October to November second week to complete Kambak book uh, and then do the questions, chapter questions in. Uh, Rita and head first. At first, I used to get 75 to 80 in all chapters, chapter question within time. But Rita, I used to exceed like uh, three, four minutes more time, but score was 70 to 75. I used to uh, share that with Rahul. Rahul said, okay, you're understanding well, so go ahead. I didn't bother about re revising. As I said, I, I used to watch every time whoever gives a new uh, success story, I used to watch them. So some people used to tell that no need to revise, just start doing questions. And then a normal second week, uh, like normal third week actually, I started doing uh, questions which are all shared in OneDrive. So I I started, uh, I did only four, uh, three, four and five, all three question banks because three and four are very nice because uh, question bank four, especially uh, some of the questions are like uh, similar to what I faced in uh, PMI exam. Okay. Uh, so I attended questions and I analyzed thoroughly because whenever I was failing to understand or think about what is the logical answer, just go back to PMBAC and write it. So uh, it took me like uh, question bank solving, it took me like December first week. Uh, so I eight, December 8th, I finished all the question banks. I didn't even uh, started my uh, first uh, um, full mock test. So at that time, I, I attended your uh, uh, like one hour session you used to conduct in Saturday Sundays. So I asked questions, what, how should I proceed now? Mm -hmm. uh, then I strictly followed. That's the main turning point for me to boost mm -hmm. my scores. Mm -hmm. So I didn't uh, revise it, just uh, questions. Wherever I failed, I go to PMBOK, read it, understand. Uh, and also when I was analyzing answers, all other three wrong choices are there. I used to analyze them also, why this was given as a choice. Because those choices are also possible answers. And then if not, uh, so what is why I should rule out, uh, where it connects. So I did that analysis. I started a prep cast. So prep cast, I did uh, one, two, three, and six, and seven. Uh, one, two, three, uh, okay, pretty much a good score because I was uh, full of enthusiasm, mm. able to sit for four hours. Mm. So one, two, three, I got 79, 83, 81%. 
one uh, question here maybe i want to interrupt here the first yeah. exam when you sit for four hours yeah were you able to sit continuously were you yeah so yeah because i took holidays so because i had an annual holidays and because i preserved these holidays i took three weeks completely complete holidays so completely out of office i just put a message out of office i won't be responding any email <laughs> so and then every like last three weeks uh, 10 hours a day minimum i fixed i have to read 10 hours a day that includes uh, four hours of exam uh, in a stretch no break and then analysis of the so i i was able to sit yeah. four hours i can see a very systematic approach has happened there yeah so i was determined because that determination the boost of determination motivation i used to get every time i used to watch your videos like you used to send small clips in between uh, i used to go back oh i had to get motivated i had to become determined and then the, the words like uh, four letter words love and passion i used to remember every time i used to uh, sticky notes i used to put determination dedication patience if you have this one you have then you are you will be ready to sit whatever stretch your body won't feel any pain wow yes. wow you, you are in some high throttling stage now <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i used to sit uh, and basically uh, uh, i used to take same time i booked my online i gave in online proctor exam okay. because we have i can't go to like uh, we have covid 19 travel restrictions so yeah. i have pretty good internet in the in home so i booked online proctor so then i started uh, taking same time exam so my exam was 11:30 so i used to start 11:30 and finish 3:30 oh. uh, so i used to sit four hours because uh, so much effort so much dedication has been put in uh, uh, and then good guidance i was uh, so uh, coming from coming to me so i don't want to spoil that uh, time yeah. time is very important so I, I used to be able to sit four hours. Perfect. Uh, Perfect. Yeah, and f- when I gave first prep cast, I just assumed I, th- I, I in real side, real time scenarios. So I just prepared my room as I am giving exam uh, online prep exam. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. yeah, so in a similar way, uh, and then I gave. So uh, I was thinking, okay, I'm able to pass, but uh, not more than the seventy five percent. But I got seventy nine. <laughs> and as i said i just said i took like uh, half for half a day for exam and uh, one and a half day for a review uh-huh. so i first uh, what i did is when i was reviewing i just reviewed why domain wise not as a usual question mm-hmm. so prep cast is having on beauty so you can choose uh, answer analysis domain wise i used to choose domain wise i used to keep a ecvo exam content online i correlate which task which task <laughs> i can show show you where i perform very well in uh, uh, exam report also task wise it will give a broad oh, yeah, yeah 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 okay yeah so uh, that helped me a lot i i used to uh, see uh, which task i am failing and then i used to understand okay go back to the task read and from come back so uh, that way i started analyzing i keep continuing this way. first to 3 1 2 3 i finished uh, and then uh, seven are like uh, more of uh, real to pmi way of thinking questions are question thinking question context and uh, ability to answer they are all almost similar to pmi main so exam. six main exam yeah uh, six and seven six i did and seventh i was like uh, very closer to exam uh, four four or five four or five days left so seventh i didn't had that much uh, my uh, body was tired i couldn't able to focus <laughs> mm-hmm. so i got around 69% in the seventh exam uh, mm-hmm. yeah so but i didn't uh, i i didn't feel the, like uh, let down because i knew first four i did well mm-hmm. um, that's fine i i committed more mistake but uh, that helped me a lot because i can review more thoroughly mm-hmm. uh, when you have like last two exams uh, prep cast if you do more correct answers Uh, you will uh, you know you will, because of time i you, probably people will tend to just skip to right answers only mm-hmm. focus on wrong answers so mm-hmm. I, i actually did a uh, proper way of uh, analysis as i said mm-hmm. then i finished it and then actual turning point pmi mock test i suggest people to do at least two times i did three times oh okay yeah so, so what are you uh, what's the thrill behind that 
be amazing. Uh, be, be amazing because uh, the uh, questions, the language, language of question, the context of question, and the answer choices all are almost similar to PMI pattern, PMI mock test. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, and, and some people think that in PMI sample I should score more than seventy-five. But mm -hmm. I will tell even if you fail in PMI sample, it's okay. But yeah, I, you have to get the language. Yeah, so I, as I said, because I, I had just two day, two two and a half day left for my exam, I, and that time only I did PMI exam, PMI mm -hmm. mock test. Mm -hmm. One day I took two times. So first time I took uh, it was sixty-eight percent. Uh, I didn't bother. I did. I did. I didn't even review it again. I I uh, I did repeated it because I know of uh, fifty questions I had like the dual mind, and out of 50, 25, I intentionally changed because mm -hmm. first intuition I actually did correct answers, and then I changed those answers. Mm -hmm. Next time I uh, same questions, I thought okay, this was a correct answer. Mm -hmm. Then next time I see my score eighty two percent. Mm -hmm. And third time, next day, I did uh, proper analysis because PMI just give like three line uh, analysis, three line uh, scenario. But I used to adapt same way Prepcast used to. Why other three are wrong ones? Okay. Same, yeah, same, same thing. I adapted. I, I used to see correlate. Why these three are given? Is these three out of three or uh, two, three, two are very close to our closer answers because mm -hmm. uh, the same process it is connected. Why they are selecting this one? So same way I analyzed. Right. So that helped me a lot. So it's, that's right. key actually yeah, to understand language. Good. Very valuable inputs from you, Tipesh. It's about yeah. um, proctor exams. I mean, it's about your um, prepcast practice, PMI samples. Yeah. When you went to real exam, uh, how much of time it took uh, for the whole 200 questions? So I, because uh, uh, I, uh, questions were lengthy in uh, prep cost. So oh, really? I used, yeah, questions, questions prep cost questions were lengthy. Oh, prep PMI questions, real, yeah. real, exam. real, real exam, they're uh, not lengthy. So mm -hmm. I got around 30 questions, which are like three lines, three line questions. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the, the when you read a question, uh, you can make easily answers from the out. They are given a, so much information to distract uh, you. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can you can make an essence because people will get well, looking at questions. They will get like a fright and oh, it's a lengthy question. I'll be able to answer it or not it. But if you have, if you have logical uh, sense, if common sense, just read once the question, and then you automatically get to which is answer. Keywords. You get the keywords. Keywords. Yeah. Uh, that that's that's why. otherwise uh, most of the questions are one one line and two lines. Mm -hmm. Basically, I faced uh, very confusing and more time consuming on one line questions. So one liners, they big they don't have a scenario, they don't have any clue, uh, and the answers all the answer choices so at least two or three all look same. And you need to think uh, which one is correct, which one is not correct. So for example, I got an, a question, it's just one line question. Uh, a team member is expressing his concerns about uh, quality issues with a project manager. What to do next? What to do next? What project manager need do next? Answer choice, sir. Review uh, quality audit, uh, update issue log, uh, review quality management. Uh, these are ch uh, approve change requests. All answers, sir, actually in that scenario, if, if the scenario is there, you can rule out, but there is no, there is no scenario, no situation. So you have to think, you have to rule out, you have to go back to answer choice and then see, is this answer choice fit to this, this question? Yeah, if not, it's rule out. Next one, roof uh, fit in. Okay, this looks fit in. Then just mark it in the mind. Then next one to go. So that way, uh, so if, 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 if there was like what a project manager would do first, then you obviously you can go get an answer. So these type of questions, yeah, one line question, one liners, with the two or three answers are all possible answers. So I started eliminating based on choices. So choices and uh, really? adapt those choices. Uh, connect, is it uh, planning, is it executing, or is it monitoring, monitoring controlling? If it is monitoring controlling, is it going to change any updates to planning for, uh, uh, planning process? Really? That way I analyzed and ruled out. Uh, so that solved me a lot. So that that way of thinking came from six and seven prep cost. Great, pretty yeah. good. 
I, I like your pattern, what you followed. Really interesting. Yeah. Right. So, when you see the word congratulations, what was your feel? Are you aware that you're going to clear it out? I first 90 questions, I got like a bit tough choice. Like I need to, I, first 90 questions, I got calculations, network diagrams, uh, four or five uh, cost management questions I got. So uh, because I don't want to use whiteboard, I don't want to use calculator. I last 15 days, I trained my mind, all the questions which I get, I should do in my mind. No use of a calculator or mouse. So mm -hmm. I answered them all. And I, ma I made my mind, if I get network diagram to write on whiteboard, I'm not going to spend too much time. Just click anyone, proceed. I, <laughs> fortunately, I got four, six network diagram questions. But uh, I just, uh, I, I also prepared a strategy for that one because of Rita Mulche, a lot of uh, question banks I read. So there was a trick how to answer. So I just carefully look, you won't need to write a network diagram. There was one question, they gave a table, big table, activities, duration, and then connections, logical connections, dependency connection. They asked to calculate total float. People will spend five minutes on writing on whiteboard. But I just, uh, Still, the uh, duration connection. So by, by that way, you can see which one is a critical part. And then I see asking the activity was asked and critical part. So uh, close your eyes, put zero. Okay, total float zero. <laughs> <laughs> so that way, so similarly, another question was crashing. They gave uh, network activities and then uh, uh, crashing uh, an amount per day and uh, duration. And then uh, uh, connections. Uh, so that was uh, if we if you are careful enough, we can just see which is a critical path, and then select which is the lowest uh, amount per day which has been spent for crashing. And let's look at an order how to crash. So that also I did like that. I didn't do even bother about writing network for networks diagram. <laughs> so that good. helped me a lot. Good. good. <laughs> mind game has happened. Yeah, mind game. That's true. Good. Good. But, good. One thing I want to stress out is uh, the last two, three, four days of preparation uh, uh, tips you gave that actually boosted me to get my score higher. Yeah. So first off, I was like 90. So I thought I, I've done 70 questions correctly. I had that much confidence. Mm -hmm. In the second off, uh, I started uh, doing because of second off was full of one liner questions. Mm -hmm. More uh, three, more, uh, two answer, two best answers were there. Which mm -hmm. one to select? Which one not to select? Mm -hmm. So then, uh, after one sixtieth question, one seventieth question, I thought, okay, uh, borderline, so I can pass. Uh, mm -hmm. So that confidence I got. And thirty questions, I just did quickly. The, mm -hmm. the three things I did was last three days so, uh, because I got twenty questions on change management. Mm. Nearly 20 questions on change request, change management. Mm. So I just, uh, last day of exam, like uh, evening before the exam day, I just took PDF copy of uh, PEMBAC, just keyword search, change request. Wherever change request comes, just read that paragraph. And because of that, I was able to make 100% correct. All the 20 questions I didn't miss because uh, I analyzed those in task wise. Uh, report. So none of them were their, their uh, wrong answers. That's too late. So that, yeah. Uh, that was the That's great good. tip. Yep, yep, yep. I keep telling that. Uh, especially you don't have to go and sit and read change requests. Just a yeah. control F on yeah. change space request. It will be in yeah. 40 places. Just, yeah. read, that. just read it. Yeah. Need to memorize just it. Say, I took only one hour. Just uh, over. 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 <laughs> go, go, go. That's over one hour. And what I did, another thing, because my my score was task-wise in executing, I did, I just got only one in low, low bar. Task six was the only one I have. Otherwise, all are task, all tasks are high in high range. Man, people passing is a big deal. Now you are going yes. to the dashboard and you are seeing task-wise how much I scored. <laughs> Because I was comparing that one because uh, to be frank, because uh, that helped me a lot. You said me like, uh, 31% of questions comes from executing group. Yeah. Uh, 
Your and on top of that, what I did, I just uh, all the 10 courses I revised from Pembroke. Mm -hmm. And then I also read uh, initiation group, two, two, two process, closing one, one, one process. So that makes 51% questions. So mm -hmm. I did executing process, uh, processes one, one uh, revision, mm -hmm. closing, and the initiation. So that where I have done, where uh, those areas which I revised, I actually did very well. That was reflected in that uh, score Lovely. report. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Perfect. Great. Super observation. I'm so happy with the detailed information what you're given. Now um, I'm sure you're going to implement what you learned. Right? Yeah, sure. It's going to be your part of a career now. Um, being a doctorate and uh, doing project management, this is all professional uh, yeah. certifications and professional learning. And this will sometimes show results very next day. We want to improve. Mm. Sometimes yeah. the essence gets inside us and uh, yeah. lifelong useful. You start. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. how it is. I'm so happy that you trusted us and um, you went, uh, you came with us for the journey and got succeeded because uh, trust is very important. Uh, even yeah. we read a lot of articles, a lot of blogs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Trust, right? Okay. When I say do this, they have to do it. If you don't yeah. do it, then it's pretty hard. So I, I appreciate the trust what you had on us. Thanks for that. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. So um, once again, thankful to you, Sridham and Rahul. Otherwise, uh, this journey was difficult without uh, you. Actually, without you and Rahul, both are equally uh, well contributed for my success. So mm -hmm. first credit goes to uh, Sri Lavni. Definitely. Good, good. Keep rocking. So, what's the temperature there now? Is it pretty cold, snowing now? Yeah, it's not the snow snowing. So, it's daytime. We have six to eight degree. And nighttime, it goes to three to four. I'm in the southwest part of England, so it's not much snowing here. But if you go to Midland and Northern uh, mm -hmm. England, so mm -hmm. there it's uh, Scotland. It's not snowing there. Oh, is it a downtown kind of area, or it is a little? Uh, uh, outskirts of uh, place. It's uh, like uh, towards uh, London comes in like uh, south. They have southeast, southwest. Uh, so coastal, both side have a coastal area. So, mm -hmm. uh, but this is a lot of hilly area. The area which I have is Bristol. I'm based in Bristol. Okay. Uh, so it's it's uh, le it receives less amount of uh, snow. Like uh, you can say, like uh, southern India, southern part of India. Oh, okay. However, it is you cannot go out in the season. It should be pretty windy and cold. Yeah, it's windy, chilly. But yeah, pe people, you uh, there is a good amount of public transport. UK is just having good amount of public transport in every city, even in up to village. And train links are very good, so it's That's nice. traveling. Nice. It's nice. Nice. Now it's time for you to enjoy because I'm I'm sure for the exams you're stuck at home for days. We yeah. Now I think you have to celebrate uh, their New Year and Christmas and feel happy. Yeah, sure, sure. And I also uh, because uh, uh, another thing, which something, some of the things which I used to get got stuck, I used to ask my supervisor. Mm -hmm. He's also a PMP certified uh, manager, mm -hmm. so he was in Syngenta of a big company, like a chief uh, uh, project manager. Mm -hmm. So. Whenever I have some doubts, I used to ask him. So he's he's his learnings from learnings from him also helped me a lot in understanding. That's great. That's great. Good to see that you're giving credit to people around you who yeah. you and supported you. That's great. Good. Yeah. Great. Super. Uh, once again, congratulations for your success. Keep winning more. Thanks for coming here, and uh, it's really wonderful to listen to you. Thank you. Thanks, Jerome. Thank you very much for all the support. I will come back sure again for some other training with you. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.